do you want to uh, read the scenario first? Yeah, we'll we'll do, do that, that and then we'll talk about our characters. Yeah. Uh, since you'll be the lead, I'll start by reading to you. Okay. Because I think you're going to have to make some choices. All right. Okay. It is a breezy November evening in Arkham. The perfect night for a walk through Independence Square, or so you had thought up until the moment Anna Caslow offered to tell your fortune. You agreed, though you would soon come to regret the decision. For each of the cards the Romani soothsayer draws from her deck, she weaves a tale of despair and misfortune, judgment, temperance, justice, the hermit, the hanged man, the hierophant, the lovers, the chariot, the wheel of fortune. To complete her tale, Anna draws the top card and lays it in the center of the formation. Dominating the old worn card is the ominous image of a towering construct of black onyx. A hellish storm rages over the tower, lightning coursing through the dark clouds. It reads, The Tower, 16. Even if the rest of the reading had gone swimmingly, the sight of the center card would have sent a shiver down your spine. As it stands now, it feels more like the closing of a casket over your body. You did tell me to give it to you straight, the soothsayer says. She sits cross-legged in front of you, wearing a stony, grim expression. From her unwavering gaze and her cold eyes, you can tell Anna derives no satisfaction from this reading. Simple misfortune is the least of your concerns, she explains. This is a matter of life and death. She motions to the cards surrounding the tower, each of them laid in the reverse position, and stares at them intently. Arrayed against you is everything that you cannot see. You alone stand in their way, she says enigmatically. The lead investigator must decide, quote, what can I do to avoid this fate? Or, this is bullshit. Hmm. The last time we went with it. We did. So, I'm thinking this time maybe we will not go with it. So your choice is, this is bullshit? Mm-hmm. Okay. The woman smirks. Yes, in a sense I suppose it is. She responds. With a single swift motion, she picks up each of the cards displayed before you, save for the tower card and shuffles them back into the deck. The cards only reveal and advise. They cannot influence or impose. She locks eyes with you, and her smile vanishes from her face. In other words, though your fate is not set in stone, I assure you the danger you face is not bullshit. It is real. Her eyes uh. narrow. It is very real. So we have to record that we've rejected our fate. Okay. And we have to add two Elder Thing tokens to the chaos bag. Okay. Uh, one more bit. Mm -hmm. Silence hangs in the air as you peer into the tower card. The world around you dissolves into emptiness as your eyes fixate on the onyx tower. Rolling thunder echoes in the distance. Do you understand now? Anna asks. There's no other sign of the soothsayer, only her strained voice. A bolt of lightning streaks across the sky. Do you see your fate before you, as I do? Another resounding crack of thunder, and you are suddenly awake. Icy rain pelts your body. Very relevant for today. Uh, mm -hmm. Soaking you through to the bone. You are lying in the mud beside a wooded trail, and there is no other soul in sight. Dot. 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 Yes, it is very snowy here today. It is. Which is kind of unusual for where we are, so... It is. Icy rain is about what, we, what we're yeah. used to. Okay, so you want to jump into characters, then? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Do you want to so, go first or me? Sure. I am the lead investigator. Yes. Lead I am Joe Diamond. So, he is um, mostly good at investigation or intellect and fighting or fight. And he is the private investigator. Ooh. So, I have a um, special situation where I have two decks over here. So what I have to do is when the investigation phase begins, I reveal the top card of my hunch deck. That's this deck over here. And um, until the end of the phase, you may play that card as if it were in your hand at a minus two cost. If it is still revealed at the end of the phase, shuffle it back into your hunch deck. So basically this hunch deck is full of insight cards specifically. Um, I have a variety of them obviously in there and then I can use them like they're in my hand, but only play them. I cannot 
use them to commit to tests and stuff like that. Yep. Um, and then I just have my normal deck over here. Um, uh, and I, is, if there's anything else, Joe Diamond, I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my gimmick. That's Joe. All right. So I'm playing the best investigator, <laughs> Diana Stanley. Very impartial. I am super biased. So Diana's the redeemed cultist. Uh, she is a mystic, which is my style. So you can see for a mystic, her willpower is horrible and everything else is threes across the board. So atypical for a mystic because, you know, cultist, weak mind, but she gets a willpower plus one for each card beneath her. But how does she get cards? So after a card that I own cancels or ignores a card effect, uh, if there are fewer than five cards beneath Diana, you place that card face down beneath her, and then draw a card, gain a resource. And it can happen once per phase, not round. So theoretically, mm -hmm. you can do it four times in a turn if yeah. you can find a way to do it. That's true. Uh, her Elder Sign effects adds two, and you can choose a card to put back in your hand that's beneath her. Mm -hmm. So also pretty good. Um, so the other thing that she has is she starts with one of her signature cards in her hand, which is this Dark Insight. So essentially, it's just a cancel ability that you start with, and this cancels a card that's drawn, and you shuffle it back into its deck. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting because it's whenever an investigator at your location draws an encounter or weakness. So you can do it if your partner draws one, too. Yeah. Uh, which is good. It gives her pretty much a guaranteed cancel to start her engine running. Mm -hmm. And so how she works is uh, she has to cancel... Or you have to, you put the card beneath her when you yeah. cancel or ignore something with one of your cards, yeah, right? Yeah, it has to be a card that I own. Right, okay. The other thing is I'm starting with two horror because in my deck I do have these two permanents. So they aren't really in the deck. Yes. But uh, you take a mental trauma and I have two of them just when you add them to your deck, which I did to start with. Okay. But after each scenario, you can reduce the experience cost of the first spell card you upgrade by one. So it helps upgrade quicker. So you, if you had three experience or three points to spend, right? Yeah, so let's say we get three experience after this one. Yes, then you can get, get a spell that has a four. Five, because I have two of them. Oh, okay. So I can upgrade to Big Shrivel right out of the bat. I out see. of the gate. I mix my metaphors. But yeah, so I do have two sanity damage already, some horror, but the hope is that I can cancel future damage and it won't kill me. Okay. Cool. All right, yeah. I was going to say, I didn't know about the Diana effect where you, where you have to own the card, but I don't... Yeah. I mean, that kind of is a weird... It's a weird way to word it because I'm sure it matters, but you almost always have to cancel something with one of your cards. I don't really see a way you could do otherwise, but... There are a couple cards that I could play in an equip to you, mm -hmm. and they go in your area, but I wouldn't get the credit for that. Right. Or if you played one to me, it would have to be Got it. that. Yeah. I see. Okay. Um. Alrighty. So I think we're just lost in... The, the woods. W the wilderness. The wilderness. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So um, let's read the agenda and act next. Yes. Yeah. And then we can start. And okay. then we will start. Okay. So the agenda is temperance. Remain calm, and you will peer in, and you may peer in to. Let me try that again. Temperance, the agenda. Remain calm, and you may peer into an uncertain future. The balance of the universe has tilted. You are the fulcrum. Be patient, and all will be revealed. Seems legit. Yeah. Eight. As noted, we are lost in the woods. Uh, you have awakened alone deep in the woods, south of Arkham. The mysterious soothsayer is nowhere to be seen. You rise up from the muddy trail and try to find your bearings. An oppressive weight hangs in the air. 
Locations in front of you are connected to one another. You cannot enter locations in front of other investigators. Mm -hmm. As an objective at the end of the round, investigators may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Okay. And that is four. Four. And so we can do that even though we can't be... We're not together and we don't know where we are. Right. Okay. So, the last thing is... We put the locations randomly in front of us. Okay. And then there's a couple that we aren't going to see. They just get tossed. And we have these, but we cannot go see each other. So I can't mm -hmm. come see you. And you just pick randomly where you start. Okay. But we can't see them, so it kind of doesn't I'm gonna matter. I'm going to put mine up here okay. because I'll do the same. I'm going to need card space okay. over here, I think. Uh, I think other than that, we're good to go. Okay. Let's do it then. All right. Um, okay. I already grabbed my resources. Yes, so I will grab mine as well. You want to start up the music? Yeah, it's gone. It is? Okay. I'm tossing four. Oh, oh no. You looking for your dagger? You know it. Okay. And I will continue to do so. Mm -hmm. I think I'm okay with my hand, actually. I think you're a lot more flexible with your hand than me. Yeah, my deck is very... Um, I'm not looking for anything specific, yeah. really. Well, I feel like just the good, good doctor. Well, that's true. I don't have him, do I? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right, let's see how this works. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I guess we can reveal first and then Kay. see what's going on. You go ahead. Sure. So all these woods are witch haunted woods. Which woods? It was um, kind of giving it away there, but you know. All right, so uh, there are two clues here. I am in the overgrown barn. When an enemy would spawn at a different witch haunted woods, spawn it at this location instead. Then it makes an immediate attack against each investigator at this location. And it does have some victory. Okay, and mine is the Tainted Well. Mm -hmm. So it's got two clues, Shroud of Three, and investigators at other Witch Haunted Woods locations can, can, uh, can commit one card to each skill test performed at this location, and vice versa. Okay. spend two resources. I'm going to play my Holy Rosary. So just gives me a nice plus one to willpower, gives me some sanity, which I'm going to need. Uh, action two, I'm going to spend a resource and play Ritual Candles. So if I reveal a Mythos token symbol during a skill test, it just gives me a plus one. And last, I'm going to investigate. So, I'm even. I've got a three, shroud of three. And it's an Elder Sign. That's exciting. It's a good start. Uh, I don't have any cards beneath her, so I don't really get the benefit of that. Mm. 
but but it's still always good i at least get a clue and it's a plus two which is even better than average i feel like yeah and that's it for me okay okay so i am it's my turn so i'm going to I'm going to play a flashlight. So uh, I can use this three times and it reduces the shroud by two. So I have to spend a supply and during my investigate action, the location gets minus two shroud. Seems good. Yeah. So I need my flashlight. And okay, so I'm going to investigate here. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my flashlight, so I had three, I'm now going to switch it to two, and um, so I am at four. Don't forget your hunch deck over there. Oh yeah, I did really did, didn't I? Okay, here we go. Connect the dots. So I can play this as a fast. And after I discover the last clue in my location, I can discover two clues at a location with a lower printed shroud value than your location. Which is not relevant right now. So, because I haven't revealed the other location. Um, all right. So back to my investigate action. Yep. Um, I am using my flashlight. So I'm at four. The shroud is now at one. And I am going to commit deduction, which allows me, if I, if the skill test is successful while investigating a location, discover one additional clue at that location. So I'm at five and it's at one. So it is a four it test and I'm going to hopefully succeed and get both clues. We got a minus one. That's all you need. So we're good. So I got both clues, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna seems, leave. seems like a good idea. So first action, I played the card. Second action, I investigated. Third action, I'm leaving because I'm afraid of enemies spawning. As you probably honest. should do. Okay, well, this location is the Lonely Tree, Aww. which if you look at it, it's like got arms and eyes and things. It's just lonely. It's so lonely. So, uh, there's two clues here. And you cannot investigate this location while you have between three and five cards in your hand. So I need to have less than three? Is that how I'm reading that? Yes. I can't have three, four, or five. I have to either have more than five yep. or fewer than three. Yep. Um, okay, and then there's a, a lightning action. I don't know what to call them. Um, you choose and discard one card from your hand, then an investigator at a different witch, uh, witch haunted woods draws one card, or vice versa. Limit once per game. So, round. or once per round, I'm so sorry. So basically, this will help you get rid of your cards if you need them to investigate here. By, I think I like magically am giving them to you. It's a lonely tree. Through, through, uh... Time and space? You know, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, and I'm done. Okay. Sad that we are just a little short of clues. We need yeah. four, we got three. We're close though. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so then no enemies yet. Uh, end of the investigator phase. I'm going to shuffle my okay. deck because I didn't use my card. Go for it. So how do you think Diana and Joe met? Or, I mean, I guess we're meeting right now, but... How do you think we got together before when we went and saw the tarot reading? I think that Joe definitely saved her from the cult. Oh, you think like so? He was investigating. Oh, he was investigating. And, and you were the pull sympathizer. Her out. Yeah. Yeah. And helped her see the light and now she's giving him information about the inside and he's like, gotta go in and bust the cults. I see. I definitely think that Joe probably narrates his life as in noir. Yes, I agree. But like badly? Yeah, De definitely badly. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. 
upkeep time, mm -hmm. I think is what it's actually called. Yeah, because, well, now we did the enemy phase. There are no enemies. So now we're going to upkeep. Or refresh, as we like to say. It just sounds so delightful. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Doom time. Everyone's favorite. I found a coven initiate. So it is a humanoid witch and um She has feelings, excuse me. <laughs> no, she's it's literally she's anyway. Um so she has a revelation effect, discard the top two cards of the encounter deck. If this effect causes the encounter deck to run out of cards, draw the topmost hex card in the encounter discard pile. Okay. Okay. So, I guess she's gonna be my friend. No, she'll spawn at that other place, right? Oh, that's true. Yes, because when an enemy would spawn at a different location, you're gonna spawn it here instead. Okay. And then I have to discard the top two cards of the encounter deck, right? Yep. This one's a hex, but it's only if the if it if the, it causes the encounter deck to run out of cards. And it did not. Yes. I've got a classic. Good old rotting remains. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. Has three willpower. Just has three willpower. Okay, I'm going to. I'm gonna try and just test it normally. Okay. So I'm gonna minus one. Oh, okay. And for each point I fail by, I'll take one more. Oh, okay. Well, you're kind of. You have a lot of. You already have some horror damage, but. It's okay. Alright. I auto failed. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to treat that as if I got a zero, so mm -hmm. I'll take three horror. Why don't you take. Can you only take three? You can't go negative. Got yeah. it. So, I'm going to, as a reaction, <laughs> oh. play Deny Existence. So, you play it when an encounter card or enemy attack would do a bunch of different things to you, including take horror. You ignore it. And you know what that means. Oh, I said the magic word. You did. So that's going to go under Diana, and I get a resource and a card. And my willpower is boosted. Nice. Doing the Diana thing. I know that it says it goes under her face down, but I'm just gonna leave it face up because you can see it. And putting it face down would just mean you're gonna watch me flip it over and over and over. Oh, uh, because no yeah, because when you're looking yeah. for it, yeah. It doesn't really matter. Okay. I'm sure it matters to someone. Not me. Okay. It is now investigator phase? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna do this properly this time. Evidence. So fast, play after you defeat an enemy, discover a clue at your location. Again, not really relevant this time no. around. Because our only enemy is over there. Yep. Hanging out over there. Okay, so we just need some more clues. We do. Do you want me to do it? It's kind of what you do. It's, it's I'm usually better at that. So... I'll do that. Okay. Um... I mean, I have this flashlight, so I'm probably just going to use it. Okay. So I'm going to use a flashlight charge, uh, a supply, and uh, the shroud is now zero. So in a weird way, you cannot fail, except if you pull the tentacle. Right. Because you can't go below zero. Yes. So, but it is a four, because a four is what I have. Yeah. Pulled zero, so yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. I just get one normal clue because I was just being normal that time. Just normal. So strange. All right, do you want to spend our clues and advance the act? I think we have to do it at the end. What does it, it say? At the end of the round. At the end of the round? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, hold on. I don't, I can't, I can't actually do that. I can't actually do that. Oh, we yeah, got, we got to roll cards. back the rock. Um, 
Because I can't investigate while I have between three and five cards. So... I'm going to... I'm guessing you have between three and five cards. I do. I'm going to play a card first. Okay. So this is my first action. Pretend like none of that happened. Um, it is... The good old machete? The machete. So I can fight, and it's a plus one to fight, and if I, the attacked enemy is the only enemy engaged with me, the attack deals an extra damage. Classic. Yep. And... Okay. I'm going to do the thing. Okay. I'm going to disc... I'm going to discard one card from my hand. Here, I'll put this back just so we can look at it. But you can choose and discard one card from your hand. Oh, Cat. Hey, Cat and friends yeah. and Chris. Thanks for the raid. What's up, guys? Okay, so I can discard one card from my hand and then uh, an investigator at a different witch haunted woods draws one card or vice versa would you like to get rid of something i can't imagine you would no okay oh I... cat you got the command first try hell yeah very nice um hey friends so i i'm gonna discard i'm gonna discard one of my cards okay and then um you can now draw a card i can yes okay thanks for being a friend Okay, and so that was and that was a little lightning bolt, which means that it didn't actually take one of my actions. Yo, Karibo, if you ever play a game with us around dinner time, every single game is the burrito tossing game. <laughs> it's true. We eat a lot of Mexican foods, and we did tonight as well. Chris or Poodle or whatever you want me to call you. Uh, what does Pot of Greed do? Please advise. So the, the lightning action doesn't count as a as one of my player actions. Right. So I am for my second action going to investigate. So now we're gonna try this again. Okay. I'm going to use the flashlight. And so the shroud is zero. Okay. So I'm back to a four. four. I would say we don't eat burritos every day. It's like six out of seven days. We don't eat that many burritos. We just eat a lot of Mexican food. Yeah. But I mean, you know. This time I pulled, pulled a skull. All right. So a skull in the witching hour is minus one for each point you fail by. Discard the top card of the encounter deck. Okay, we're good. I did not fail. So I get a clue. It's nice. like it. Nothing <laughs> was different at all. And I think all of the shenanigans happened before this raiding party, so no one even. No knows. one knew. Exactly. Okay. For my last action, uh, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Okay. Mm, I'll do it again. All right. My flashlight is out of batteries. That's not true, Karibo. I've seen Cat eat candy as well. Unless she eats candy salads. I pulled the skull again. Well, we know what that does. We know what it does. It's a minus one, so we're good. All right. Nice. So, Zivertech... Uh, a quick rundown of what's going on. Uh, there's the what's this that Chris and Kat did as well, but uh, basically we right now, as the story goes, uh, Joe and Diana here, we got a tarot reading, it got a little weird, and we woke up in these woods and we're right now lost and we're trying to get together and get out. Yes. In the absolutely named Witch Haunted Woods. Yes. <coughs> Sweet so, death. Thanks. Um, but if you guys have any questions, definitely don't be shy. Yeah. Unless well, you're Chris. <laughs> yeah, Chris doesn't count, but everyone else <laughs> is allowed to ask questions. We'll be happy to answer them. Yeah. Uh, trap cards get played on us. The game plays its own trap cards. Yeah, basically the game plays its own trap cards. That's exactly how that works. All right, it's my turn, yeah? Yes, and we're going to spend the clues at the end of the round because yeah. that's what the act told us to do. Don't hate me. Okay. Action one. Well, and it's never good when things start that way. I'm going to play Yennefer. Okay. So 
Uh, when she enters play, she does get a doom on her, but she has a free action where I can do some searching for spells. Okay. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to search the top three for a spell. Is this game modern Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, Is there, that a good description for this game? They're purple cards, so... Sure. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in five ever, but... Yeah, you played Yu-Gi-Oh. I was you, super into You were a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. I was. Okay. Action two. Should I look at the other place, or what do here? What would you like to do? Well, I know we're going to advance, so... I may just... I'm going to play for my second trick. My second ghost trick. I'm going to play Wither, which is one of my combat spells. So, when we get to it, if we get to it, it uses willpower instead of combat. And if I draw a Mythos token during that, the enemy gets a minus one fight and minus one of eight. So it makes them easier to hit. Cool. Uh, all right. And last action, Kiro. I think what I will do is... I don't love my odds of actually getting that clue on a rot investigate, mm -hmm. quite honestly. So I think I may just take a resource. Okay. And just get ready. Sure. All right, that's it for me. All righty. Uh, it is the enemy phase. It is the end of the investigator phase. Oh yeah, you didn't hunch. My bad. I gotta do, I gotta shuffle my hunch. Um, but, when does the act trigger? At the end of the round? Yeah. So Got it. after upkeep. But Chris, what does Pot of Greed do exactly? What is the best Yu-Gi-Oh card? Uh. Dark Magician Girl, everyone knows why. I don't think I get this joke. That's because you weren't a middle school boy. That's true. I was never a middle school boy. Man, Chris, you play Blue Eyes White Privilege on me all the time. Here, Chris, this is for you. Deck is back. All right, so upkeep time. Okay. Well, frick. All right, is the end of the round. Do you want to do this? Yes. Do you want to? Why don't you keep a clue and I'll spend one? Because okay. don't some of your yes. cards work with clues? Right. I'm. I'm always. I have cards that it's better if I have clues. Oh, Chris, we got a laugh track, because I'm talking, so you know we got to have a laugh track. All right, so we're advancing the act? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. As the rain lets up, a dense fog rolls in throughout the area. Soon, all of the woods have vanished within the hazy fog. You call out for your companions, but none answer. You grope blindly in the haze, searching for something, anything, to which you can cling. Each investigator must randomly choose one of the set-aside Arkham Woods locations and put it in play in front of them. Okay. Alright. Uh, I, I, I have this. So, so it's not an ooh, it's more of a, an offensive someone reacting, like an oh no they didn't. Take this one. Okay. So, put it in front of you. Oh, you're putting it down there? Okay, okay. I just, just, I was just kind of resting in it. Sure. Uh, and we immediately are forced to move to that location. Okay. Okay. And I guess we can reveal them first, because we're yeah. going to do some more stuff. Okay. So here's mine. I'm in the quiet glade. Oh, delightful. It's so nice. Um, there are no clues here, and as an action, I can heal one damage or one horror. Limit once per turn. And I've got the unhallowed ground. So it's forced after you enter the location, test willpower. Four, if you fail, take a damage and horror. Oh, mine was so nice. Yours was not very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now because I've entered it against my will. 
Uh, my willpower is one, two, three. And it's at a test value of four. So that's just going to be how it is right now. Uh, that is two. a failure. Yep. So I'm going to take a damage and horror. Okay. Are you going to take a damage and horror? Um, that's a good question. Because, like, I know you're supposed to, but I all kn also know that you're Diana, so I'm guessing you're not going to. Um, you know me. I'm probably not, but let me double check really quick. Okay. If this reaction works the way I want it to. Okay. I mean, I played Yu-Gi-Oh, I just, you just, just don't dropped know. off. Yeah. yeah. You play Magic, because you're a nerd. I mean, I play Arena, I can't play real Magic, uh, I true. can't afford it. Yeah, that's true. Okay, it does work the way I thought it did, but okay. I just wanted to check. Okay, so I'm going to... Instead of that, locations are considered encounter cards. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And it says that I can cancel uh, one of the following. So I'm just going to cancel the... Uh, so that that all went a little fast. What, what was your issue? This is dealing one damage and horror. Yes. This says I can cancel damage from encounter cards. From an encounter card. The cards. question is, are locations encounter cards? Are they? Yes. Yes. So I'm going to play this, but it says I can only ignore one. Okay. So it's doing only damage Only the damage and horror. or the horror. So I'm going to ignore the damage and take the horror. You're going to take the horror. Oh, okay. Because I canceled with Diana, I get a resource and a card. And a card. All right, continuing. Yes. Uh, each investigator spawns a set-aside goat spawn at his or her location. Oh, okay. I've got us some goat spawns. Woo! And they look bad. <laughs> Here's a goat spawn. Uh, we're both getting one at our location. They look like this. Well, we're not really getting one at our location. We're getting one in our threat area, really. Well, I mean, they're one and the same. <laughs> Uh, so they're not great, mm. but they're not the worst. Yeah, uh, they are. They do retaliate. Yes. So that's never great. It's not the best. Uh, cat people actually do play Magic for money a lot. It's kind of weird. There was just a tournament worth a million dollars. I was I gonna say people make like people yeah. their entire job, like they basically make enough money playing Magic to have that be considered their like yeah. employment it's kind of crazy but they have to invest a lot of money to get the cards to be able to win so yeah you know uh there's more each investigator then tests willpower or agility against a three so you want to go first we have to test three agility or willpower well neither are great for me but i'll do what i can i guess um, so it's a three test, you said? Yes. I'm at a two on my own, and I'm gonna commit steadfast. So that adds one more, and then because, and how this card works is when you have five or more total remaining health and sanity, it gains one extra willpower and fight. And while you have 10 or more total remaining health and sanity, it gains two more willpower and two more fight instead. So, I am currently at, this is probably hard to see, but I have eight health and six sanity. So I have 10, I have more than 10. So mine is currently now at five versus it's three. So I'm at a positive two. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, I was setting it up for an I'm positive. Oh, uh, I wasn't, That's no, okay. sorry, one there. And I got a minus two. You needed every bit of it. So, 
Alright. Okay, so upon success, you exhaust the enemy and it's disengaged from you. Oh, nice! So I'm gonna do it too. And this, is a, this was a willpower test, or agility. Or agility. Okay. So I have four. One, two, three, four willpower. Against the three. And that's an elder sign. Yeah! There it is. Uh, okay, so with an elder sign, uh, it's a plus two, so it's a success. Mm -hmm. And I can pick a card under Diana and return it to my hand. I will do that. Nice. All right, shuffle one of the set aside copies of Demonic Piping. The the elder sign lets you put it back in your hand. Yes. And dark your dark insight is that the name of your card? That's yes. your specialty card. Yeah. That one lets you put it, that one, when you cancel, it goes and gets shuffled back in its own deck, yes. right? Okay. Uh, so we have to put one of the demonic pipings into the encounter deck, and the other two are going into the discard pile. Okay. So demonic piping, uh, basically it just gets us a little closer to having a big scary monster. Okay. Uh, we'll get to them when we get to Yeah. Them. So here's the two in the discard. Okay. And if you can hand me the encounter deck, I'll shuffle it in there. Here you go. Thank you. All right. Do you want to read the next act while I shuffle this so we don't sit here forever? Sure. Okay. So we have witch hauntings. Whatever arcane rites are being practiced in these woods, they are attracting the attention of all manner of vile beasts, the likes of which you have never seen. Is this what the soothsayer was trying to warn you about? Locations in front of you are connected to one another. Yay! You cannot enter locations in front of other investigators. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Objective. If a single investigator spends the requisite number of clues, advance. It's only two. But it has to be one of us. It has to be one of us. Which means I have to do it. Why? You don't have enough clues. Oh, I don't have access to any more clues, do I? This is on me. Yeah, you gotta do it. I would love a Taco Bell trading card game, though. I'm kind of surprised that doesn't exist, actually. Well, there was that, uh... I feel like they would do something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, I totally agree. Like, between the Burger King video game and, I mean, multiple... Well, like, there was that... I think it was KFC did a tabletop RPG with, like, a real source book. Oh, yeah. That's right, I remember that. Yeah. Was it KFC? I think it was KFC. Because KFC did the visual novel, right? Yeah. So I, I wasn't sure if it was one. both. Yeah. yeah, the dating sim. I mean, I have a couple pot of greeds, Chris, if you want to take me to Taco Bell. <laughs> uh, does pot of greed get me two tacos? Uh, I think we're we're done though with all of that, so we can start with the mythos phase. I think yeah. I'm not really sure, but yeah, okay. All right, so add one do, and now we do bad things. I got ancient evils. The classic. So uh, I have to place one doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. It will not, but it can. And I've got Diabolic Voices. So I test willpower, and for each point I fail by, I discard a random card from my hand. Don't love that. Mm. Uh, so what I will do mm -hmm. is... Um, I'm going to pay one resource, and I'm going to cancel it with Ward of Protection. Mm -hmm. Play when you draw a non-weakness treachery card, cancel that, and take a horror. Nice. So I take a horror, and I also get a resource and a card from Diana's ability. Yep. Being Diana over there. Just Diana things. All right. All right. So we got to get clues then. Yep. And we have to deal with these enemies that are our friends. Yeah. Um... Okay, so do you want to go first and try to get clues? Sure. Do you want to, uh... 
insight deck. Oh yeah, I should do that. Not first. that it'll matter too much, but it's possible it could. Okay. I have shortcut. So uh, fast play only during my turn. Choose an investigator at my location. Move that investigator to a connecting location. So it basically lets me move. Yeah, some of the art in this game is pretty ridiculous. I agree. So that would only let me move, but if we were both together, yeah. that would let you move. So. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna go first then, because I gotta get clues. Uh, I'm going to use the arcane initiate to search for a spell in my top three. All right, got one. So I have to shuffle this. Yeah, the art in this game is really is really good, except when it's not. Yeah, there are a couple that are just ridiculously hilarious. But... Yeah. It's very sty stylistic. Yeah. It, it goes heavy with its theme, which I think I very much appreciate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for my first action, I'm gonna get clues. Okay. All right, so first action, mm -hmm. I'm going to play Drawn to the Flame. So draw the top card of the encounter deck. Okay. It's Diabolic Voices. Oh, we've seen this Once one. Once again, uh, I'm going to spend two resources and cancel it with Dark Insight. There you so go. play when an investigator draws an encounter card. Cancel all that card's effects and shuffle it back into its deck. Do not draw a card to replace it. Okay. So I do have to shuffle this back into the encounter deck. Yep. Let me do that real quick. Yeah, I thought Wendy ran it. Or Dave Thomas? Dave Matthews. Dave. <laughs> the Dave Matthews band. The Dave Matthews band. Okay. In case you're new here, you should know that you should not believe anything that we say. Probably true. Pretty much Except ever. that. that not even seen. really how this game works. So let's, you know what I mean? So I do get the two clues from Drawn right. to the Flame. Yeah. And because I canceled the Dark Insight. Yeah, because that's what And this is do. a different phase. I get a resource and a card. Okay. Um, can I spend this? So I can spend this whenever. I think you can do it right now, yeah. Do you want me to do it right now? Yes. Okay, I'll spend both clues. Okay. And we'll advance this. I have two actions remaining. Let's just say it so we remember it. Okay, you have two actions remaining. Chat, I'm looking for you to remind me of that. All right. As you scour the woods for answers, or a path that will lead you back home, you find yourself drawn off the beaten trail by a mesmerizing melody of silvery pipes. Deeper into the damp, hazy woodland, you delve, searching for the source of the strange music. Finally, you come upon a foggy clearing, at the center of which lies a half-rotted tree stump. An old, but delicately carved wooden flute lies atop the stump, silently beseeching you to approach. The moment you touch the instrument, the piping melody that lured you here is cut short, and the dense fog around you disperses with a sudden breeze. For the remainder of the scenario, investigators may now enter locations in front of other investigators. Yeah! We can uh, do it! So now, we have Paths into Twilights. Uh, breaking Dawn. With the strange fog dispersed, you are now able to explore the woods. You were unable to find the main path that leads back to Uptown. But this is your chance to discover more about the ritual the witches are conducting. Locations in front of you are connected to one another. Yay! So we need six clues together. Okay. So now this is connected to... Uh, this is connected to these. Uptown funk? Uptown clues? Girls? Uh, okay, so these are all connected to each other. And these seem to only be connected to them. Okay. These are not connected to each other. Yes. Okay. Uh, Uptown Funk. So I have two actions left. We need six clues. We have one. Uh-huh. Okay. So th these two are connected. And the other... So like if I wanted to go to your unrevealed location, I have to walk over here and then to your unrevealed. Yeah. No. 
they're connected. They are connected? Yep. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so it's so everything's connected now. Yep, except okay. this and this. But didn't it say that the ones in front of you were now connected? No, so locations in front of us are connected to one another. These are Got all connected, it. and these are all connected, and then this is connected to that. So okay. okay. Yeah, that's confusing. All right, so second action. All righty. You want me to rough this guy up, or? Uh, it's up to you. Well, he's going to be a problem if I don't, right? Yeah, they're hunters. They are going to come after right. us, so. I'll do what needs to be done. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Wither. Okay. Oh yeah, you got your Wither spell I out. I almost wither. forgot. So it is a willpower attack instead of combat. So my willpower is one, two, three, four, five versus its fight of three. So let's see what this do. Reese Wither spell. Reese Wither spell. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cat, you should make that remix. Oh, oh no. no! All right, there's no negative side effects. I just mm -hmm. fail. I'm gonna try one last time okay. for my third action. Do it. Uh, this is an Elder Thing token. Oh yeah, I don't know what this one does. So it's a minus three, and if you fail, choose an exhausted or damaged witch enemy at your location. I don't have one. Yeah. Uh, also, so it's a minus three, but because okay. of my ritual candles, it's uh, plus one on top of that, so it actually succeeds. Oh, because that's right, because the ritual candles only work if you pull a mythos token except tentacles, yeah? Yep. So because of that, it's a minus three plus one. Nice. So it does do one damage, and it has a minus one fight and evade for the remainder of the turn if you, for whatever reason, wanted to go attack wanted it. Wanted to go attack that one. But I don't think that's really what you do. So that's it. I mean... Uh, the best Yu-Gi-Oh! song is by far the Pegasus song where he sings face up, face down, attack or defend. Uh, I could sing it all, but I won't. But I definitely could. Okay. There was a whole album that was music to duel by. Is yes, because you know it's improper English, so we yeah. must fix it. M music, music by, by which, which to, to duel. To duel. <laughs> yeah, okay. The uh, the chorus was face up, face down, attack or defend. Face up, face down. This battle's to the end. Face up, face down. Stay on guard. Face up, face down. Play your strongest card. And then there were occasional Pegasus just going, Yoshi and Yugi Boy, thrown in there. That's amazing. Yeah. That's the best part of the oh, whole yeah. song. Highly recommend it. Okay. Um, should I just kill this goat spawn? If you can. I mean, I have a machete. Oh, you do have a machete. I do. But it's disengaged so, from you, so you would is. have to engage it, and I don't know if you want to do you that. You didn't have to because... Well, I mean, you could still attack it without engaging it. Right. So why wouldn't I do you that? You won't get the machete bonus of... Oh, I see. Yeah. Got it. And using your spell, you didn't have to no. deal with that. Um, okay. So. Um... I could go get clues, but do you really want to have to fight this other one? Uh, I'm much more equipped to fight stuff than... Because you are you only did one damage to yours. You're going to have to do three to both of them, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, but, you know... They're, they're not going to chase us until next round, so... Okay. So would you prefer that I get clues, or do you want me to try to fight this ghost? Good call. Boy? I'm not worried. I, I'm much better at killing stuff than... Okay, clues. so then I'll go get clues. If you feel like you can't get clues, then I won't waste my time. I'll go get clues. Ask anyone in chat. I rarely have clues. Okay. So, um... Yeah, Kat, it's real, right? It's a real song. <laughs> I will, for my first... Before I do anything else, before my first action, I'm going to play this card. Um, it costs zero, so I'm good. And I can, uh, it is a fast, How fast, so it's not going to count as an action. And I can choose Thanks. an investigator at my location. I will choose myself. Oh, uh, Death Switch. Thanks for the follow. 
Yeah, thank you. As the wise Yunarukami would say, thanks, that helped. And um, I will move that loc that investigator to a connecting location. So I'll move it. Um, I guess I'll go to the unrevealed location. Ooh. This is the Child's Treehouse location at the Witch Haunted Woods. So, Forced, when the last clue is discovered from this location, spawn the topmost enemy in the encounter discard pile at this location. If there are no enemies in the encounter discard pile, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded and spawn that enemy instead. There are four clues here, though. Good, we needed that. I was gonna say, we need every I bit feel of that. like we needed more clues for sure. I got two. I will get two. So you know, I'm pretty sure it's possible that you uh, could get locations where you don't have enough clues. And you're just screwed. Really? Yeah. But what would you do? You're just screwed. That sucks. Yeah. Tim Tams are cool chocolate cookies where you can bite off one end of each side and suck hot chocolate through it. The inside cookie gets all melty and gooey on the inside. That sounds dirty and delicious. <laughs> I mean, I like a good cookie straw. Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't those those things that Kat had to go to rehab for? What? The the cookies, the yeah. Aussie cookies. Oh yeah. Anyway, get yeah, some she, those are the ones we got, right? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, all right. I'm gonna look for clues now. So I haven't used any actions yet. Nope. But the uh, shroud here is only one, so I don't think I'm going to buff it, really. Amateur. Why? Why would it be amateurish to not waste my card? No, 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 no. The the shroud of one oh, is an amateur okay. location. All right. Sorry, I'm not trying to critique Yeah, you. I was like, calling me out here. No. Okay. Uh, so I'm at four. So I am at a three. I feel all right about that. And that will be why we fail. Yeah. Minus one. There's okay. one. So that's one clue. Can you hand them to me? And how many do we need again? Six? Yes. Okay. Yes. And I pulled an elder sign. Oh. Woo. Okay. So my elder sign effect is that uh, it's a plus one and I can move an insight event from my discard pile to the bottom of my hunch deck, which I will do. I will put my shortcut back on the bottom. Okay, and I get the clue. And now I'm going to investigate one more time. Other side oh again. My God. I don't think I have, I don't think I used any others. No, I didn't use any others. So, uh, it's just a plus one. Just a plus one. Thank you. I'm done. It's a pretty successful turn. That was all right. All right. So the enemies are all exhausted because the Coven Initiate doesn't move. Okay. So then we just upkeep. Uh, these guys are going to unexhaust, they right? They are. So we have to do that. During upkeep. And mine's now engaged with me. The wedding is soon. Hmm. Okay. This guy's just gonna hang out here. Alright. Alright. Time to do us. We're up to five. And I got dissonant voices. Classic. Yes. So, put, the, uh, put it into play in my threat area, and I cannot play assets or events. At the end of the round, I can discard it. Okay. Lame. And I got Evil Past. So I'll have to put it in my play area. Uh, put it in play in my threat area if there's no copy of it in my threat area. There's not. 
And then when the, the counter deck runs out of cards, take two horror and test willpower. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and play Ward of Protection with a resource to cancel it. There you go. I get a resource because of Diana. I get a card, and I do have to take a horror. I'm going to take it straight up. Okay. And then so, that gets cancelled. Alright. Sorry. Maybe they're hard to find in the US because everybody feels the same way, so they're just constantly like going for it. Alright. If we're talking about international cookies, what are what is everybody's opinion on Biscoff? Yeah, you've been on I'm a Biscoff. I'm a pretty kick. big Biscoff fan, so um those are the Delta cookies, if you don't know, also. And no longer the United cookies, That's apparently. Yes, no longer, that's true. All right, let's see your hunch. No, All right. It's not weird. Uh, see the crime. So, play only as your first action. Discover one clue at your location or two clues instead if there is an enemy at that location. This uh, action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Okay. But you can still discover a clue. But I'm not sure I want to discover the clue here or not. But we need it, we, right? We're going to we have, have to. to do it. Okay. But if are you afraid of the enemy? I mean, I'd rather not spawn an enemy if we didn't have to. Well, but we're gonna have to. spawn on you though. It'll spawn on the other one because that one's in play, right? Because don't all enemies this. spawn there? Yes. If it would be spawned at the witch haunted yeah. woods, it spawns there instead. Okay. So that's good, at least. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so do you want me to go first and discover, hopefully discover both of these clues? If you'd like. And potentially advance? When does, when can we advance? At any Whenever. point? Whenever, yeah. Okay, so do you want me to try to do that first or do sure. you want to do stuff first? Okay, I will do that first if you'd like. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I think I'm going to use my scene of the crime here. Seems like a good idea. Because I have to play it as my first action, and it lets me discover a one clue at my location. Yeah, she has uh, like packs of Biscoff. It's like she's a flight attendant, but we never leave the house. Yeah, well, they're not the same. They're not nearly as big as the ones you get on the airplane. They're like little tiny ones. They're like... They're like, if you're looking at this card, they're like the size of half of the card. Um, but they were at the grocery store. They were just like at, at a local grocery store. So. <laughs> at regional grocery store? Yes. Um, okay, so because this costs two, it, this would normally cost two, but because it's in my hunch deck and everything's a minus two, it costs me nothing. It's for free. It's for free. Like I mean, it takes friends. an action, so... I mean, it's free yeah. So I get the clue. And because I took the last clue there, please tell me what I need to do. So, spawn the topmost enemy in the encounter discard pile at this location. I'm fairly sure we have no enemies in our discard pile. So discard from the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. We'll get there one day. Oh, this sucks. Okay, I have a coven initiate. All right, so... So she is the same as the other one. She discards the top two cards of the encounter deck. And if it causes the encounter deck to run out of cards, draw the utmost hex in the encounter discard pile. Oh, hex. But I don't think it. Oh, that's a good one to get rid of. Yeah. All right. And so because of the effect on this card, which uh, when an enemy would spawn at a different Winch Haunted Woods, we spawn it at this location instead, and then if there was someone there, they would be attacked. Um, she's gonna spawn here. Cat, are you banned from World Market by World Market? Or by, or by Poodle. Alright, so you have two actions left, yeah? Yes. So I'm gonna move for my next action. You won't. And then I'm going to investigate here. I'm gonna investigate here. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do with my last action. Seems like a good plan. So I'm at a four and it's at a three. The shroud value is a three. 
Um. Oh, hold on. I'm hold on, I'm hold holding. on. I'm Dissonant voices would not allow me to play my hunch card, yeah? Because this is an event. That's correct. So we have to roll back the rock. Sorry, everyone. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna investigate straight up here. Okay. So it it is a three. It is my four versus its one. And I pulled a zero. Okay. So I got that clue, and everything else is the same. Now you moved. Now I moved. And now for my last action, I am going to investigate here. Okay. But I'm going to commit unexpected courage to buff it by two. So I'm at six and it's at three. Wait, there's free coffee? Where's this free coffee? It's world marketed apparently. Oh my God. Yeah, Eldersign. I know this is my third Eldersign. I'm definitely cheating. All right, so plus one, and then I still don't have, yeah, I still don't have any insights in here, so it's just a plus one. Thank you. I have six clues. You wanna spend them? I will spend them if it's, if I should spend them. Well, I, mean, I think I should. All right, go for it. All right, you spending them? Yep. All right. You've come across a clearing where a ritual circle has been constructed. Several hooded figures stand around it in a trance, unaware of your presence. Overlooking the ritual is a powerfully built woman who brandishes a long, wavy dagger. As she sees you approach, leave this place at once, she commands. I'm pretty sure that's your dagger, by the way. <laughs> it's about to be my dagger. Uh, locations in front of you are connected to one another. Objective, if a net mason is defeated, advance. Ooh. There are no other clues on the witch's circle advance. Okay. So we're going to put the witch's circle into play. All right. So put the witch's circle into play in the center of the play area in front of none of the investigators. The lead investigator spawns the set aside Annette Mason at the witch's circle. Forced, after each enemy phase begins, move each ready, Unengaged witch enemy once toward the witch's circle. Okay. It's got six clues on it. All right. I got two. All right. So here's Annette Mason. She's the high priestess. Mm. So she's got four fight. She's got eight health and four evade. And after the enemy phase begins, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. Spawn each witch enemy discarded by this effect at Annette Mason's location. If no witch enemies are discarded by this effect, ready her. Come, sisters, our time is now. Okay. So this location is only connected to the witch haunted woods, it looks like? Yep, that's correct. So I'm going to put it up here, just so we remember. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah. She's, uh, she's strong. Not weak. And the witches are gonna come toward her? Yes. The coven initiates are gonna go there next, next turn, pretty much. And that's a bad thing. Well, I think it's gonna make it more difficult. It's gonna be more things to deal with. More enemies to deal with, you yeah. know what I mean? All right, so first things first, I'm the rollist. I'm going to exhaust the initiate mm -hmm. and look for a spell. Okay. And that doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity, right? No, nope, it's a free action. Cool. Got one. I've got a plan, I think. Mm -hmm. So do we want to kill Annette or do we want to get the clues? I don't think that I care either way. Okay. Do you have a preference one way or the other? I'm not... I've kind of spent all of my stuff that makes me good at looking for clues. So, okay. you know what I mean? Well, I don't have a lot else I can do. Alright, let me think. I might have a plan. Okay. Alright, I think I got a plan. Okay. I think I've got a plan. 
We don't... Is there any reason we don't want the witches to go there? We just... It just seems bad. I just feel like it's more stuff that's going to get in our way. Okay. So... Uh, alright. Mm-hmm. I think I've got a plan. Do it. I want to see your crazy plan. I don't know if it's that crazy this time, but... This time. This time. Alright, so my first action... I'm going to play for three resources. Okay. I'm going to play Shriveling. So it's got four charges. It's a spell that does some sweet damage. It's All a little right. bit stronger than Wither. So that provokes an attack of opportunity from the goat spawn. Yeah. I'm just going to take it. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to take You're it. You're going to take it? Okay. Uh, second action. I. You're, uh, you're good at fighting over there. I'm going to move to... The... Witch's circle? Oh, I can't from here. No, you have to move twice. Oh, this didn't work as planned. You're just going to fight that goat spawn then? I don't really want to. Were you going to drag it and then hit yeah, everything, I assume? I was. Okay. Um, Can you do it twice? All right, so what I might do is... I'm going to move to where you are. Okay. Because that one seems, it seems nice here. Sure. So I'm going to move here. Mm-hmm. And it's going to attack me. Do a nice little attack of opportunity. Yep. I'll just take it. I'm not scared. Okay. And last action. I'm going to... I'm going to... Sorry, counting. Sure. I'm going to shrivel it, which I probably should have done before moving, but that's fine. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to roll it back. That's, yeah, that's I was going to say, if you're going to shrivel it, yeah. then, then shrivel it. Okay. Right, I'm going to shrivel it. So it's an attack that does willpower. So it's mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six versus it's three. All right. That's pretty good. And if it hits, it's going to do two damage, which is enough to kill the goat spawn. Okay. So minus two. That uh, is enough. There you go. All right. So the goat spawn is goat spawned. And is goat dead? Each investigator at this location takes a horror. I'm gonna give it to Yennefer. Oh, bye, Yennefer. So she and her doom are gone. Uh. Then I'm gonna move where you are. Yennefer, it, you have two copies of that that um, ally in your deck, and one is Jennifer and one is Yennefer. Yep. And I'm not consistent on which is which. Well, I mean, you always know. That's you true. just know which is which. Obviously. Obviously. Okay. All right, so it is the enemy phase. Yes. So, after the enemy phase begins, move each ready, unengaged witch toward the witch's circle. And everything, all these witch haunted woods are connected to the witch's circle, so they are just going to be there now. Yep. Uh, and then, after the enemy phase begins, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. Spawn each witch enemy discarded by this effect to her location. One, how many? Three, right? Yep. One, two, three. No witches. Okay. And then he's going to move. He's going to move one. He's just a hunter, so he's going to go toward us. He's going to go to us. I'll take him. You take him? Yeah. Okay. So he's going to do his damage, which is one. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. I'm not scared. Yes, you're very not scared. Nope. Okay. All right, so then it is upkeep time. Yes. And um, no, nobody needs to unexhaust, so we're good. Sorry, I thought we had an exhausted enemy still for some reason. No, he did. Yeah. Okay. Bean was attacking you. Oh. Did you forget to feed him? That's cute. Okay. I mean, I guess it's not, but I think it is. <laughs> it is doom time. Okay. It's the end of the phase, right? Yes. End of the round, I'm sorry. Yep. So this gets discarded. Thanks. Nice. Now it's my turn for the diabolic voices. For so diabolic. I have to test three willpower, and for each point I fail by, discard one random card from my hand. <sighs> for each card you cannot discard, you take a horror 
or a damage. This test gives plus one difficulty for each copy in the encounter discard pile. Okay. So, there's a few in here, I know. One. Two. Two, okay. So, it is a five test currently. We absolutely have this problem with Luna. She will growl and bark at us. We think it's when she wants to play, is hungry or cold. Yeah, she always makes the same noise when she wants to play and when she wants to be covered by a blanket. So it can be very confusing whether she wants to be covered and left alone or whether she wants to play. Yeah. Okay, um, this isn't good. No. I don't particularly want to discard stuff in my hand. That much. Or take a bunch of damage. So... I guess what I'm gonna do is, I'm at two currently, and I guess I'm gonna commit this Steadfast, which I was kind of hoping to save in case we needed to attack stuff, but... Not that we need to. Not that we need to or anything, but I don't really... I feel like losing all my cards is gonna not... Losing this card and other cards is worse than just losing this card. True. So, I'm now at a five. So it's a zero test. Here. I'll commit ritual candles. Oh, thank you. Now it's a one. That's so nice. That's all I got. I'd give you more, but it's really all I got. This guy. That's not good. Nope. So that is a minus three, and if you fail, choose an exhausted or damaged witch enemy at your location, or at a connecting location. Uh, it readies and heals all its damage. Well, right. everything's healed, so that doesn't happen nope. at least. But you do fail by I do fail two. by two? Yep, because it was a minus, minus three. Minus three, yep. Well, I only have two cards in my hand, so they're just gone. Sorry, I did my best. It's okay. I suppose I attempting to discard everything was better than just being forced to. Yeah. Uh, and I drew... <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. I drew a Coven Initiate. Oh, it's another one. So she's going to discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. And she spawns here. She spawns there. It's the top two. It's not. Sorry. Me. I was playing hard mode. You were. Okay. But it is our turn now. Mm-hmm. On the bright side. There's a lot of enemies at this uh, location. And Be also... something were to happen to them. <laughs> and also that goat spawn that's with you. It's okay. I've got a plan. Do you, do you have it all figured out? Do you need any help? Uh, or? Well, what's your hunch deck looking like? Oh yeah, I forgot to shuffle this. I will pretty much never do it at the right time, but it'll always be shuffled and ready to go before I have to use it. Team Hunch Bunch. The Hunch of the the Hunch of Crunch. Hunch Crunch. For all of our Crunch fans out there. Yeah, what's everyone's go-to movie snack? Because we've got a friend who is super into the Bunch Crunch. I'm a big fan of the Bunch Crunch, too. Bunch Crunch is a classic. Yeah. I like the puffed rice thing, so. Bunch, bunch of Crunch, they're like a box of... They're like yay big, which isn't super helpful, so like they're die-sized, more or less. And they're like little mini Crunch Balls, like the Crunch Like the bars. Crunch Bar. But they're just like little bite-sized pieces. Yeah. Okay, I have Seeking Answers. So, I can investigate, and if I succeed, instead of discovering a clue at your location, I discover a clue at a connecting location. Well, not helpful right now. But... No. Alright, I've got a plan. I mean, it, I mean, in theory it could help, but I've it will only a, get one. I've got a plan. I like your plan. Okay. I usually like your plans. Alright. If you don't pre-apologize for the plan, then I'm okay with it. I'm going first. Okay. Just trust me. I, I trust you. And if it works out, you'll know what to do. But you don't need any help with anything that's with you? Or... Nah, okay. I got this. All right. All right. First action, I'm moving in. Okay. Uh, he's going to do an attack of opportunity, but he's not. You're going to cancel that. I'm going to cancel it. Okay. So... I take a resource and a card. Now, if I pull my weakness, my plan falls apart. I didn't. All right, okay. good. All right, so all of these friends are now engaged with me. Yep. 
I'm just going to put that I was going to say, you need to make your threat area yeah. uh, bigger, but yeah. Okay. I'm going to second action, spend my remaining resources, mm -hmm. and we're going to cast the Storm of Spirits. It's a fight action and uses willpower instead of combat. If you succeed, instead of dealing standard damage, it deals two damage to every enemy at the location. Uh, so, it is my willpower, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, versus the two. I'm at a five. Nice. Of course, a... And because you get to pick which... Yep, because they're all one, engaged. Which one you're fighting, which is... And then two just goes everywhere. Yep. So here we go. It's a minus one. There you go. Success. So it's going to deal two damage down the line. Two damage kills, two damage kills. Two damage on Annette. And two damage on the goat spawn. Goat spawn still alive. Uh, so here's my plan. Okay. You can come in. You may have to take a net from me because your machete deals more damage yes. if you're engaged. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking either I can wither her or I can kill the goat spawn. Okay. I'm not sure which is better. Um. Are you worried about the goat spawn? No, not yet. Because I feel like defeating a net is more important. So I can wither her and make her easier to hit, or I can shrivel her and make her hurt more. So I can get uh, her She's health. a four. Yeah. I'm a four. Do so you want me to try and wither so her? So making her easier to hit will be able to let us do more damage. Right, I'm going to do yep. my best. Okay. Obviously, I can't control it. Yeah. But I'm going to reese wither her because that's what Poodle wants. <laughs> All right. Got it. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to wither. So it's my willpower of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus her four. And uh, my seven versus four. That's pretty good. I'll just leave it as is. I guess. I guess. Okay. Mm, will I? I'm, I lied. I'm going to okay. commit my other arcane initiative. Oh, it's Jennifer! She got out of fighting somehow. <laughs> okay. So we're hoping for a mythos token. Okay. That's not a tactical. You got one. So a mythos token is minus one. For each point I fail by, I don't. So it deals one damage. And because I used Wither, she has minus one fight and minus one evade for the remainder of the turn. Nice. Turn. Uh oh. For the mm, remainder it's not of the round, turn. Is it? Uh oh. Do you wanna instead do your your shrivel then? Yeah. I'll okay. Have done that. Yeah, it would have yeah. been the same, but just more damage. At least I'm pretty sure it's turn and not round. Well, it says, it turn. says turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do have to take a horror because I revealed the Mythos token, though. Okay. And that's it for me. All right, I'm going to do my best. I'm not sure I'm going to do that well, but I'm going to do my best. I literally have no cards, so... Um, all right. I'm going to move in here. I will take Annette from you. Thanks. You're welcome. And I, and so that's one action, or second action, right? <coughs> well, my yep. first action was moving, my second action was engaging. And then I'm gonna try and hit her with my machete. I am at five, and she's at four. So, <coughs> not the best, but you know. There's zeros, there's <laughs> minus ones, there's plus yeah. ones. Yeah. So you're at a one? Yeah. I literally have no cards, so all my cards were destroyed. Yeah. At the mythos phase. It happens. Minus two, darn it! Does she have retaliation? So close. She does. So she's gonna do uh, one damage and one... Horror? Horror. 
I'll be all right. And that's it. I'm done. Okay. So at the start of the enemy phase. Yeah, rip cards. Agreed, cat. Yeah, it was a rough, rough one. Uh, so start of the turn. I'm gonna shuffle my deck right now. Okay, we'll do that first. It's fine. You can, you can, you can. All right, I'm gonna enemy phase it then. Yeah. So she discards the top. How many? After the enemy phase begins, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. Spawn each which enemy discarded this way. None. Um, she moves to our location because of this. If no which enemies are discarded by this effect, ready her. She's already ready. Yeah. So this moves here. Yep. Do you mind taking it? It's just one sanity. Yeah, sure. Which I am getting a little close. Yeah, that's fine. And you're very beautifully not hurt. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, so then they're going to attack. Okay. Um, so you're going to take one and two horror total. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take one damage. Okay. That's it. Okay. Now we get to ready? We do. I finally ready. get my cards back. Well, I get one it's card a back. Or something. Yeah, I mean, point taken. It's not. Okay. I'm excited. All right. Mythos Our time? turn. Oh no, I'm sorry. Mythos time. <laughs> Can't ignore the bad stuff. Uh, we are currently at six mythos because your initiate is gone, yeah? Correct. Okay. Mmm, racked. Get racked. Uh, put Racked into play in my threat area. You get minus one to each of your skills during the first skill test you perform each round. Um, test three willpower as an action. And if you succeed, you discard Racked. If there is an exhausted witch enemy at your location, the test is automatically successful. Okay. Uh, I got a classic. Ancient Evils, plus oh. a Doom, it can't advance. This is the end of the Mythos deck. But Nothing I don't triggers. think we have any problems with that yeah. right now. Alright, so I've got a plan. Mm -hmm. But we can see your hunch first, because that might change it. Yeah, okay. I got the same card. Seeking answers. This is the huh. investigate. I can find a clue at a different location. Uh, I think if I use my last shrivels on Annette, it'll kill her. Okay. Are you gonna take her from me first or no? I was just gonna fire and I don't think I'll fail. I won't hurt you. Okay. Don't worry about it. Sure. All right, so if you don't mind, I'll go first. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna use this a shrivel charge. This is gonna be the scenario where Diana kills Joe. So I have seven versus it's four. Four. Uh, I'll commit this. Oh, so I'm okay. At, uh, 10 versus it's four. Yeah, so this is take the initiative. You can commit it to a skill test. Uh, only that you're performing, obviously, and it loses a, a point for each action that has been completed by an investigator this phase. So basically, you gotta go first. And gotta go fast. Here we go. Minus two. All right. And no mythos token means I don't take horror. And how much damage? Two. Two. Because it's one plus one for shriveling. All right. She's got eight health. Eight health. All right, so I'm gonna use my last shrivel, which is my favorite song. And I'm going to commit, take the initiative. Oh shoot, so now it's only two. Yep, yeah, so because an action's been completed, I'm down to a five because I am at a nine versus her four. Oh no. Uh, yeah, five, right. There you go. So that's, again, no mythos token. I take the horror and that kills her. So she gets added to the victory. Put her over there. And yeah, we get to advance. I think this okay? is it, right? It says if Annette Mason is defeated, advance. And she wrecked. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Uh, you defeated her, so you get it. If you s advanced by defeating Annette Mason, and we did. Uh, stop! The coven's leader yells in a commanding voice, grimacing from the wounds you've inflicted. You're not sure if she's speaking to you or to the hooded women surrounding you, but regardless, there's a sudden stillness in the clearing around the circle. Resolution 1. 
Would you like to do the honors of resolution? Uh, yeah, I can read it if you'd like me to. I'm sure everyone's tired of my dumb ones. Okay. Resolution one. R1's my favorite Star Wars character. Despite her wounds, the leader of the coven rises to her feet. More of the hooded figures emerge from the tree line, eager to defend their leader. Interloper, one calls you, pulling off her hood and pointing a gnarled wooden rod in your direction. It's pretty gnarly. Her bright red hair glows in the firelight, embers dancing about her extended hand. So she has ember extensions? <clears throat> I'm yeah. hearing ember extensions. Yes, all those those witches get their ember extensions. Yep. They're the ones from before, High Priestess, the ones who interfered with our great work. The High Priestess holds up a single hand and a hush falls over the other witches. As always, I admire your perseverance, sister, but I do not believe these are the ones you speak of, she replies to the red-haired accuser. You lower your weapons as several of the hooded figures approach and surround their leader. They begin chanting in a soft tone as they examine her wounds. The red-haired witch crosses her arms and watches you with a hard glare, her gaze never straying far from you. I am Annette, says the leader of the coven, Amen. and these are my sisters. Tell me, who are you and why are you here? You explain that you awoke in the woods, how you were attacked by terrible creatures, and how you came to the center of this circle in order to break the spell surrounding the woods. Annette's eyes narrow as she hears your story. That is impossible. The circle was closed. No one could enter the woods while we were completing our spell. She grits her teeth. You must go at once. This is not your place. But High Priestess, the red-haired witch exclaims, only to be interrupted by Annette's gaze. The two lock eyes, a battle of wills that quickly proves Annette victorious. Stand down, Aaron, Annette says with a firm motherly tone, as though admonishing a child. She turns her attention back to you as the witch named Aaron lowers her head in defeat. Aww. Go. You've broken the spell just as you desired. You can leave the woods now, but I give you one final warning. Cross us again and we will not be so merciful. You begin to protest, but before you're able to utter a single word, a dark gale snuffs out the fire at the center of the clearing. Shadows from beyond the tree lines suddenly twist and coil into the clearing, tugging at the edges of the witch's cloaks. One by one, the shadows twist and pull each of the witches into the darkness beyond. In moments, they are gone. You are left with only the soft glow of moonlight to guide you home. In your campaign log, record the witch's spell was broken. Got it? Yep. In the campaign log, under Mementos Discovered, record um, mesmerizing flute and ritual components. Each investigator earns one bonus experience as he, as he or she gains insight into Arkham's mysterious past. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Plus one for the bonus? Yep. So we've got seven. You're welcome. We really did, needed every single clue. We did. That's the thing. I didn't even do it for the victory. I just did it because we had to. Because we needed to. We did it for the right reasons and we got rewarded just like in real life. That's exactly how it goes. Okay. That was it? good. Yeah. Okay. That was a... That one was pretty... Um, that was a pretty good scenario. Yeah, I feel like that worked out though. I never drew my dagger. Yeah, I never drew my wand either. Yeah. We never got to Mr. Easy Mac was never around. Mr. Easy Mac, Trevor didn't make an appearance. No. It though the card I did pull was Trevor. Oh well that's good. At so least... he would have helped me fight if you had not just wrecked everything yourself. I mean, you know. <laughs> 